Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, so today's video is going to be about, since we're going to jump straight to the point, trees and grass and things like this. So, you've probably watched the videos uh, about me laying down too much foliage. Literally, there's just too much everywhere. And the game, and everything runs perfectly. Yes, I was able to do that type of magic. It's actually pretty cool. So, we're going to go up into the bright, bright sky. And uh, we're going to head over here, like far, far over here. And we're going to use this static mesh, which gets really bad when you get really close to it. Look at this. Like, that's ridiculous. We're, we're actually going to put a new, a, new, uh, a new piece of level here. And to do this, we got to go here. We got to go to this new landscape. I was trying to put it over there, but, you know, there's already something over there. So we're going to put it over here. Okay, and it's going to be a lot smaller than that because let, that's 200, like, wait, it's 200. So that is what we're going to be working with. Great. Okay. And to put this simply, I already have all the settings in here so that when I actually go and paint, it's literally perfect. And if I have trees to add in there with it, it's literally perfect. Look, it's creating a perfect forest. I mean, look at that. That's awesome. That's what we're going to strive for today. But we got to add in one more, one more simple piece of, uh, well, only the clip survived the transition. Weird. One second. So ground, static mesh, there's got to be something we can, grass tall, what is this? That barely looks like grass to be honest. And it's only 70 vertices. So as you can see on the ground over here, there's, there's little specks, blotches with nothing in them. I really don't like when that happens. But the ground, my god, did it seriously freeze everything? The ground, it should have something in there. I mean, the material does do the job, but it does look too flat. Is it going to compile or something? There we go. That's ugly. Jesus Christ. All right. So we're going to have to add in something real quick for this. Just go all the way down to the bottom. Where it says tropical forest, add to project, forest tunnel, uh, 4.8, add. Yes. Okay, so we got to add in this. I don't want to connect to Facebook. See? Much more stuff now. Well, kind of. So let's get out of there. Exit there. That's tropical village is not what we want. We want tropical forest and plants. Don't think it's done. Is it not done? Installation failed. <sighs> Shit. Whatever. We'll fix that later. So let's let's worry about this first off. So this is what we get from a distance. You get in closer. The further you go away, all the stuff disappears. So that is also what you consider optimized. And I hate that they change the farther out that they go like that. But there's nothing I can really do about it. It took a lot to get this to look as luscious as it does. So let's go over the settings, okay? And to do this... I'm going to take away this screen and we're going to put down this screen. So first things first, usually with the plants, I want a good amount of them. So we put them on 40 and uh, this one's 0.45 to 1.5 for scale. Uh, there is no radius, which can be put down because it has to fill. This one's three and this one goes to a max of four because it's supposed to be the big guy. It's supposed to really fill out most of everything that goes on. Okay. 
the ferns I don't really care about. There needs to be a few of them. So it's three and then to one dot two. Don't want any bigger. These are the trees. They should always be set to zero dot five. Okay, and you don't always have to have a radius, but if you do want a radius and you want a few more trees, set it to either one zero two four or two zero four eight. And once again, uh, those ones are much much bigger, and they're aligned to max angle. So uh, let's go over this. So the max angle, what it does. As soon as we get back in the game, where did I put the game? I put it over here. Okay, so the max angle, if I can exit this, does something like this. Um, say you want to put some foliage right here, okay? But if you do, it's going to technically stick out. But with the max angle being one, it stands straight up. Okay? Because sometimes trees can grow off straight or they can grow in weird directions, but most of the time they will grow straight up towards the sun. So that's why I do that. If that's a little more explanatory. Because uh, that way we can do this. Okay. So that's basically a forest on a hill. All right. So. For other little things like logs on the ground, you want them to spawn as few as possible. So for rocks, you need a good size and you need a small size. 0 0.5 is a good small size and 2 is a good big size. And you also want few of them to spawn and you want them to be very uh, far away from each other. So let's turn all that off because pretty much all these settings are the same now. And we're just going to leave on the rocks. So watch this. So that's with the current settings. Okay. Now if we set the radius to zero, we're actually just going to get this. Uh, you know, it actually, see how they're too close to each other and they're spawning too often? Okay, so that's what we're going to end up getting. Now, the normal setting is 100. And that's what we usually get. Now, watch what happens when I change the radius back to 128. Get rid of all these. See? It separates them. So, what I meant by 1024 being the best... Because now I can set a huge amount, like 100, and have them normally scaled out. And we're going to get rid of all of this. There we go. So, yeah, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Don't you think? So now we have rocks all over the place. And I'm about to turn on all of my foliage here. And we're just going to build a forest on the edge here. Over there, over there. And we're going to turn off the trees. And we do not want it to apply to static mesh. And we're going to go over the entire area. Show you how not out of control it is. Watch this. There we go. Look at that. But honestly, if we're going to have the big ones, I'm going to put them up to 10. Because for open areas like this, I definitely want 10 to be the number. So as you can see, they're, they're out there pretty good. Now, since the big ones are going to be seen the most, what you can actually do is go down on the big one, go down on it, get it, and instead set it to 10,000. So there, you'll always have the big one in view, and the smaller ones will only pop up when you get close enough, okay? So see what I mean? The farther out you get, 
it's technically an optimization, okay? So let's do something fun and take a walk. If you try hard enough, if you put the right settings, you can have lots of foliage and also have it be extremely optimized. Because this, this looks really good. You got to admit to yourself that this looks really good. Uh, by the way, for those who notice that I've kind of changed my lighting, I've added a bit of bloom and it's not like bad bloom. Unreal Engine 4 has good bloom unless you use it wrong. But in this sense, it's actually used right. So yeah, there you have it. There's some empty spots here still, but uh, off in the distance, you can definitely see the big guys more than anything. So that's it. Those are the settings. But I do have to do one last thing, and I'm hoping to God I still have a log. Because uh, I'd have to show you that setting and how they uh, how they work. Mm, not the right type of log. Wood. Bamboo. I don't know. Is there anything that actually... Okay, uh, what about... Root. Here we go. We got roots. We're going to add roots into this, okay? I think it's actually about time that I add roots in there. Like, to be honest... Because uh, it's a bit weird not to have roots. So we're going to test this out first, okay? So I got to put this back. I actually like having it over here instead. And I have the details over there as well. So mode. So these are the roots. And we're going to get rid of a lot of this. So we're just going to go. We're going to turn all of this off. And all we have is the root on. So for roots, it's going to end up like this. Now you can have that in circumstance in certain areas and have it look incredible because honestly, that looks pretty amazing. But we don't want it like that. So our final lesson of the day is call distance should be 5,000 minimum and maximum. We enable density scaling. And we are also going to put the max alignment to one, just like the other thing, because roots are still roots. And we're going to have two and 0 0.5. Now the density should be 0 0.5. So that, when you click, you only get one or two. See? But... If you want it to be a little bit more and to truly be a part of the scene, they don't take up much, you know, uh, GPU power. And if we really need to, we can optimize it even farther by going down here and doing that. Pretty nifty, right? That saves you a lot of GPU power and it still looks as good. So... We're going to do this. Go from there to here. Turn all that on. By the way, you hold Shift and A and then click. And we're going to recreate the scene one more time before we end the video. Destroy everything like this. Because in the jungle, there are a lot of vines. So we did that one. Now we got to turn the trees off. Off. And we're going to go throughout the entire forest. Okay, just make sure you get everywhere. Then we're going to get it nice and close. And we're going to hit play. So there you go. Now we got vines and other things covering the ground. And uh, there's our actual map over there, but we're going to go in the forest. I do enjoy teaching stuff like this, so I hope you guys actually learn something. 
Uh, it was pretty fun coming up with this because I know I never actually did anything like this properly. I've learned a lot more stuff since I my last video uh, that I did on a subject like this. What did I just step on? I stepped on a rock. It's another thing you want to do. Enable collision. Just don't enable it on the vines or you'll be stuck on every single one of them. And uh, there we have it. We've got a small forest scene. And if you want to add depth to it, well, I'll show you how to do that in the next video where we're going to be using a height map to adjust this and make it look super awesome. Anyway, have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.